Hello and welcome to Code for Life. Today, let's build a graphical user interface for the text reading program which we wrote in the previous video. The earlier program was usable as it is to read emails, Word documents. A TTS engine converts written text to a phonemic representation, then converts the phonemic representation to waveforms that can be output as sound. PDFs Text-to-speech TTS, refers to the ability of computers to read text aloud. A TTS engine converts written text to a phonemic representation. Web pages, etc. However, it would be great if we had a controller to pause and play the audio as needed. This video is all about building such a controller user interface. The output of the final program looks the like this. The system has evolved considerably since its initial formation. Many moons have formed from circling disks of disks of gas and dust around their parent planets, while other moons are thought to Let's have a look at the code now. The link for downloading the code is available in the description. The main program contains the three important functions which we have written earlier. These are for copying the selected text, reading from the clipboard, and converting the text to speech. In addition, we have this function called release all modifier keys, which releases the control alt and shift key that might have been pressed while activating the shortcut key combination so that the copying of selected text works as expected. The other methods are similar to previous video except for the speak it method. Here I have used a media player from JavaFX so that the playing audio can be easily controlled. And finally, the most important part of this video, the user interface. The user interface is quite simple. It allows to pause and play the audio, move back or forward in the speech, move the window around and some other functionality. The play and the pause buttons are simply images which I have downloaded from the internet and modified to suit our purpose. A suitable icon for the application is also downloaded and resized. The images are loaded in the memory from the disk by using its constructor. The start method encapsulates the logic for the graphics. Here we create the image view component and call it control and initialize it to show the pause image. The image view component handles all sorts of mouse events. The mouse entered and exit handlers are responsible for this nice glow effect which brings the component to life. The mouse pressed, released and dragged handlers are responsible for playing, pausing and moving the window around. The play and the pause methods also change the image accordingly to notify the current state of audio. The scroll handler allows to navigate back and forth in the speech by scrolling down or up. Here is the code for mouse pressed, mouse released mouse dragged and the scrolling events. It is pretty simple and straightforward. Please pause the video if you need to review the details. The context menu is set up to exit the application and show some more information or to add other functionality in future. Here is the code in action. In roughly 5 billion years, the, the audio pauses and plays as we click this button. Outward many times its current we can move the window around if required. 
the mouse scroll allows to quickly move back in this speech if we want to hear something again. Or quickly move further in this speech if we want to skip some part of the audio. You can also see that it adds a nice icon to the application. When we are done listening to the text, we can open up the context menu by using the secondary mouse button and exit the application. Well, that's it for now. We have created a fully functional graphical user interface to control the TTS engine and provided other functionality. The next video in the series is going to be about improving the voice quality to obtain very natural sounding voice by using free online TTS engines to get an output something like this. The solar system has evolved considerably since its initial formation. Many moons have formed from circling disks of gas and dust around their parent planets, while other moons are thought to have formed independently and later been captured by their planets. Still others, such as Earth's moon, may be the result of giant collisions. Collisions between bodies have occurred continually up to the present day and have been central to the evolution of the solar system. The positions of the planets often shifted due to gravitational interactions. 2. This planetary migration is now thought to have been responsible for much of the solar system's early evolution. So, until next time, keep coding your way out of problems. And see you soon. Bye-bye.